introducing the National Geographic Film Drum Processing Roller. If you are someone who processes film and you stumble upon this device at a thrift store, you might immediately recognize it as a drum processing roller. That's exactly what happened to me. I couldn't think of anything else after I saw it. Did I need a rolling processor? Not really, but for just $2, I couldn't pass it up. For those familiar with my channel, you know I typically use a Yankee tank to process Super 8 and 16mm film. Processing short batches of film allows me to test my camera quickly and affordably. So, what exactly is a drum processing roller or rotary processor? It is a device that rotates your drum at a constant speed, minimizing human error in agitation, delivering more consistent results. Additionally, it can save you money on chemicals. The constant rotation during the developing period means you need less chemistry, which is especially beneficial when processing color film. A rotary processor also saves time. With constant agitation, you can reduce your developing time by about 15%. These machines have been around for a long time. Brands like Jobo or Unicolor were pioneers in this field. Recently, other brands have joined in. And for the DIY enthusiasts, there are even projects you can build yourself. This National Geographic tumbler was practically ready to use. Originally designed to tumble rocks inside a tank for weeks, it's more than capable of handling a developing tank with film. The device didn't come with a power supply, but that wasn't an issue for me. I had some old battery holders and connectors lying around. While the machine runs fast with 12 volts, I opted to use four AA batteries, a holder, some wire, and a DC connector, providing 5 volts to the machine, which operates at a good speed. The device doesn't work with less than 5 volts. I tested it by bypassing the electronics and applying 1.5 volts directly to the motor. It runs slowly, but in the end, I decided to keep the machine intact and use 5 volts. Some might point out it only rotates in one direction. True, modern drum processing rollers can switch directions. However, the first processors also rotated in one direction, and it wasn't an issue then, nor is it for me now. The larger diameter of the cap on my tank made it uneven when laid on each side, causing the tank to slide and derail. To fix this, I measured the cap and 3D printed a ring to make the body of the tank uniform in diameter. This leveled the tank, ensuring all the chemicals cover the film evenly. That's it! I processed black and white film using this method, and it worked great. I like to push film, so my developing time is around 11 minutes. The rotary processor reduced this time, allowing me to do other things while the machine handled the agitation. At the time of recording this video, I found one of these machines for sale on Marketplace for $20. They can also be found cheaply on eBay. This solution worked for me because I knew how to power it and my developing tank fit the machine. It's not a DIY solution for everyone, but it's an idea you might find interesting. Thanks for watching the Cinematography Lab.